dear students uh, greetings uh, in this video lecture we are going to discuss about link layer addressing so as of previous lecture we discussed about the physical layer we completed the first unit in second unit now we are going to start about data link layer in data link layer we are going to discuss about error control flow control access control so before going to discuss about these controls we must be know the link layer addressing concept so hence we are going to discuss about link layer addressing in this video lecture dear students in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the unit 2 content data link layer addressing so we know that data link layer is used to get the packets from the network layer and convert it into the frames the frames will be transmitted to the physical layer the framing is the primary responsibility of the data link layer okay so how the packet is transmitted like frames are transmitted from node to node so already we know the responsibility of data link layer is node to node delivery okay so if you want to deliver the uh, frames from node to node we must be need some addressing system so for that we are using link layer addressing system okay so lecture outcome of this video is after listening to this video lecture you as a student will be able to understand how the link layer addresses are used in data transmission and how to classify the addresses so this concept we are going to discuss in this lecture so link layer addressing a link layer address is sometimes called link address or physical address or mac address okay so in link layer address we can use link address or physical address or mac address okay <coughs> since a link is controlled at the data link layer the addresses needs to belong to the data link layer okay so these addresses we are used in the data link layer that's why we are saying this is the link layer address <coughs> when a datagram passes from network layer to data link layer what will happen normally we are getting the datagram from the network layer and converted into the frames that will be sent to the physical layer so the datagram may be encapsulated in a frames and two data link addresses are added to the frame header what happened in the framing concept framing means convert packet into the frames when we are converting the frames two addresses will be added in the frames what are the address <coughs> these two addresses is from source node to destination node not to source to destination node to node in between one device to another device okay these two addresses are changed every time the frame moves from one link to another wherever the link is there no each link its have source to destination is there like if it is goes to next device the source and destination address may be changed okay so see this diagram here the node 1 alias is there so <clears throat> here this is the node 1 so we wants to send the information to node 8 bob here okay so alias bob communication we are saying here so alias is sending the frame with the information of link 1 and link 2 okay so because this device to this device it is connected with link 1 this device to this device it is connected to link 2 so these two addresses will be encapsulated in the frames and source address is n1 and destination address is n8 and data will be there so this is packet extra the framing it is added the link addresses these addresses will be reached here then after that what happen this link may be used okay so here <coughs> n3 is going there here n4 is there that means link 4 we are used here then link 5 we are used here so in this packet source and destination is not changed that is ip address ip address is not changed in the packets only frame address is changed here l1 l2 after reaching the link 
the router will uh, put that source address is uh, L4 and destination address is L5 because this is the router, another router is here. These router addresses is there. It updated in the frames. Okay. So after reaching here, L7 and L8, these two links are link 7 and link 8 is upgraded in the frames. Finally, the packet is reached to N8 destination. So the entire network is working based on the links. So this is the difference between N is the IP address, L is the link layer addresses. So link layer addresses is changed when the link is changed. But IP address is not changed because that is source to destination delivery. Okay. So three type of <coughs> addresses are there. That is unique cost address. Okay, unique cost address, multicast address, and broadcasting. So these three already we have discussed in our classes. Even though I will explain here. What is semi-casting, what is multicasting, what is broadcasting? Okay. So initially, first we know that the unique cast address. What is unique cast address? Unique cast address means each host or each interface of a router is assigned a unique cast addresses. Okay. So that means source to destination, one node to another node communication. Unique casting means one to one communication. Okay. So a frame with a unique cast address destination is this is a destined, destined only for one entity in the link. Okay. So that means in the particular IP address, sorry, uh, frame address, like in frames, we are adding the link layer addresses. That address is unicast means it is represented like 48 bits. Okay. It is used to represent 48 bits. These bits are converted into six bytes. Then it is represented as 12 hexadecimal digits. Okay. So each bytes are representing two hexadecimal digits. So totally <coughs> six bytes representing 12 hexadecimal digits. It is separated by the colon. Okay. So how it is? So you can see here totally one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bytes are there. Each bytes representing two hexadecimal number. So total 12 hexadecimal number is there. So we can using the colon for separated the bytes. Okay. So how many byte, uh, uh, bits we are used in MAC addresses? 48 address, 48 bits. Okay. 48 bits will be converted to six bytes. Then six bytes representing with two hexadecimal numbers. Okay. So if unicast addressing means this is simple unicast addressing. So normal. Uh, MAC address is considered as a unicast address. So the second bit, okay, in first byte, second number is representing the add number means it is considered as the unicast addressing. So, so next one, multicast addressing. What is multicasting? Multicasting means group address, I already told, okay, one to many communication. One message will go to group of people, that is multicasting. Some link layer addressing is Define multicast addresses. How it is defining multicasting means one to many communication. However, the jurisdiction is local. Okay, so inside the link. So how we can do that multicasting? Multicast link layer address the same like uh, unicast address. There is no difference with bits and size. Okay, but what happened? The second digit, however, needs to be an even number in hexadecimal. Okay, the second number should be even number. What is the second number here? So this is the second number. The second number is even number means that is multicasting address. Okay. So remaining is same with unicasting address. The second bit is even number that is multicast addressing. Okay. Just remember it. So finally broadcasting. We know that broadcasting means many to many. Okay. So the link layer protocol defines a broadcast addresses. Broadcasting means one to all communications. Okay. One to all means the one person will send to all the people. Okay, that is broadcasting. A frame with a destination broadcast address is sent to all entities in the link. So how it can represent it? The same like that 48 bits with 12 hexadecimal number. But what happened? 
all numbers are ones okay so total 11 ones are used for that okay so that is considered the broadcast address so for all ones means automatically the values are getting f okay so all the values are f means that is broadcasting addresses okay so we know that uh, actually in uh, link layer we are using link layer addresses okay so if we know the ip address how we can find the link layer addresses for that already we have discussed in the tcp ip issue ar2 protocol is used address resolution protocol what it will do this uh, this protocol it's taking the ip address from the network layer and it will find the corresponding destination not destination corresponding mac address okay of the particular ip address system okay where the system is connected in the internet it will identify the system from that system it will take the mac address and it will show the physical address that's why we are using address resolution protocol so where it will be used the source source knows the ip address of the default router okay each router except the last one in the path gets ip addresses of the next router by using its forwarding cable already we discussed about the routing cable each router maintaining the routing cable which is the source which is the destination which um, port it will be transmitted everything it is that so here the last router knows the ip address of the destination host okay, because the destination is connected with the last router the ip address of the next node is not helpful in moving a frame through a link we need the link layer address of the next node okay so if different routers are there suddenly if one router you are unable to identify that particular route is used you don't know that uh, mac address for the particular link you have to identify okay in that identifying the link we near the link address okay so that's why we are using the address registration protocol okay so here this diagram clearly shows that if the protocol will identify the link layer address based on the ip addresses so already we know that arp is used to find the mac address or physical address or the link layer address if the ip address node okay so first question sample question how to find mac address of the router if you know the ip address can anyone please say the answer okay if we know the ip address with the help of address resolution protocol we can find the mac address so the examples of multicast address how to represent the multicast address already we know that so six bytes we are used okay six bytes that means 12 numbers 12 hexadecimal numbers we are using for representing the mac um, mac address so it is used for colon for separating but only thing is second digit of the first byte should be the even number okay so if any number you can take but second number should be even number then it is considered as the multicast address remaining pi is not a matter okay so first byte second digit should be even number so now we are end up this lecture after listening to this video lecture now as a student you can understand how to the link layer okay so you you should know how the link layer is used in the data transmission and also how to classify the link layer addresses it is unicast address or multicast address or broadcast addresses okay <clears throat> So thank you very much for listening this video. The next video for classroom discussion topic is error detection with cyclic codes. Okay. Thank you very much. If any query is there, we will discuss in the classroom. Thank you very much.